Inter-VLAN routing is a way to forward traffic across VLANs by adding a router into the network. We'll talk about how to configure inter-VLAN routing on SG350 and SG550 series switches on this edition of Tech Talks, next. First, we'll log into the web configuration utility using the default credentials. Once we're logged in, we'll need to create two VLANs. To do this, we'll navigate to VLAN settings under the VLAN management tab in the menu on the left-hand side. Remember to select advanced from the display mode drop-down menu in the upper right-hand corner. You'll see that VLAN 1 has been created by default. We'll click Add to create VLAN 2. Now we need to assign ports to both of our VLANs. To do this, we'll select Port VLAN Membership under the VLAN Management tab. By default, all of our ports will be on VLAN 1. We'll assign port number 2 to VLAN 2 by selecting it in the Access VLAN ID, Native VLAN ID, and General PVID drop-down menus. Now we can see that port 1 belongs to VLAN 1 and port 2 belongs to VLAN 2. Next, we'll assign an IP address to each of the VLANs. To assign an IP address, click on IPv4 interface under IP configuration, then click Add. Here, we'll pick VLAN 1, which is selected by default, then check static IP address and set 10.1.1.1 as our IP address. We'll set our prefix length to 24, then hit Apply. Now let's assign an IP address to VLAN 2. For this one, I'll set the IP address as 10.2.2.1 with the same prefix length of 24. We can also configure the DHCP server for auto VLANs with an address pool starting at 10.1.1.10 and ending at 10.1.1.254. For VLAN 2, I've set a similar address pool. Now we can connect our PC to port number 1 so it can get an IP address from VLAN 1. We'll connect another PC on port number two so it can get an IP address from VLAN two. Now, we should change our network settings to automatically obtain DNS server addresses and an IP address from the switch. This can be done through changing the adapter settings under the network and sharing center settings of your PC. Now, back in the web configuration utility, we can see that the PC that's connected to VLAN one is assigned an IP address of 10.1.1.10, and the PC that's connected to VLAN 2 has got an IP address of 10.2.2.10. So both PCs have got an IP address. In the Port Management tab, we can see that both PCs are showing up under their respective ports. Now, we can ping the IP address of each port from our command terminal to see that the VLANs are connected and the internal LAN is working. Just like that, You've configured the inter-VLAN settings on your Cisco SG350 and SG550 series switches. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.